Hi everyone, welcome back to Movie Jube. I'm Jade and I'm here with Jordan. Hello. And Nick. Hello. And the three of us are going to be discussing and giving our thoughts on the Resident Evil Netflix show. And there will be spoilers, so spoilers alert. And uh, yeah, if you're excited, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell and comment down below your thoughts of the show. And let's get into it. Cool. Who Oof. wants to start? <laughs> yeah, tough one. Um, I don't know who wants to go first. Um, I'll start off. Go for it. Um, I honestly don't know why the show is called Resident Evil. <laughs> if, we're being, <laughs> if we're being honest, why is this called Resident Evil? Um, yeah. I just think for a show called Resident Evil, it's f foremost, formally and foremost, is that the way you say it? It, 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 it is just, it's devoid of Resident Evil-isms. Like, I, I don't know what I'm watching here. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. What, I don't know. Look, look, there's some. There's definitely some positives to be had here. The actresses are great. Like the two main, um, Billy and Jade, were good. You good actors. Um, Lance Reddick was good as Wesker. It was good. Um, just, I don't know, I don't know man. <laughs> this, this ain't it. This, yeah. It's just ain't it. But what do you think? Well, like, I mean, disclaimer: all three of us are huge Resident Evil fans. Like we've. Huge played like almost every game we've like between us we've played every single game and even watched you know all all the adaptations and the movies and the yeah the crazy stuff but i found this really disappointing <laughs> i'm really not into it <laughs> at all yeah um i'm trying to think of like how to word it because like i don't want to come in like immediately off the gate like so negative, if that makes sense. You can be, you can be yeah. the voice of reason, Jordan. <laughs> but not necessarily. The, I, I, I can't be because um, <laughs> yeah, you know. I, have, I have thoughts. But I want to preface it by saying it's hard because you know it's called Resident Evil. And I understand there's different adaptations, and you can do something fresh with a uh, a project. But like, I feel like this is like a whole another level of like taking liberty with with the franchise. And and I understand. They want to tell their own story, so I think that it's a, like kind of like a, a, a two-tier review, right? Where it's like if I'm reviewing it as a Resident Evil show, I feel pretty, pretty disappointed and pretty poorly about the show, to be honest. But like as just like a gen, a, a good generic sort of Netflix horror show, I think some people could could really enjoy it, you know. So I, I guess what I'm trying to say is that you're coming into this review, and if you like it, or you're like not really familiar with the games. We're biased. All three of us are going to be biased. Like this is coming from people that have we played the game. I've played every single one of the games and and watched all the movies, albeit disliked most of them. I've watched everything, so I think it's going to be more of a biased perspective that is not going to be necessarily fair. But I didn't like the show. I thought it was really disappointing and messy and um, pretty much as Nick said. Like I I kind of got to the end. I was like, man, I just wish this was anything but a Resident Evil. Like I feel like they could have slapped any name on it. But I also want to preface that. I thought all the actors and actresses did a pretty good job for the most part. Um, the production seems good. Like, I don't really have any big issues. It's more just the fact that this being Resident Evil and how it ties in and things, I think all the Resident Evilisms are the weakest part of the show. Yeah, which is such a shame. Yeah. So I just can't get past the fact that they called it Resident Evil. It's not even like Resident Evil and then like another title. Like it's literally just called mm. Resident Evil. And it's just, it takes so many liberties and so many things that have nothing to do with Resident Evil, which is fine and entertaining in itself. But it's like, why title it that? It's, mm. I don't know, it feels a bit like a slap in the face to Resident Evil fans, but... If it was called something else, I feel like I'd be less upset. <laughs> yeah. And, and that's the thing. I do feel like, look, I'm all for directors and stuff doing new things, new and exciting things with established yeah. IP as True. well. But it's just kind of disheartening when we haven't even had the base original thing yet. We haven't even had like a Spencer Mansion movie with the stars unit yet. Like, yes, we had the Rac Welcome to Raccoon City, but we haven't had like a good solid horror movie about the Spencer Mansion and the Stars unit and Bravo team. Yeah. And like, yeah. you know what I mean? Like, can you do that before you do this really outlandish, different take on Resident Evil? It's totally. Like, like, I can hear him in a boardroom. Like, let's walk before we run. And they're sprinting. <laughs> like, 
they, they gotta go fast <laughs> yeah <laughs> it's just i don't know yeah it, it disheartens the kind of word to say here i think definitely mm. yeah i'm also i didn't yeah. really I, don't, I think all all three of us really didn't go in expecting too much either like yeah like i'm yeah as i said like from a perspective of Resident Evil, I didn't expect a lot from the trailers because, like, oh, this seems very devoid of what I would imagine. But I'm open-minded about it, and even then, I think just show, show in general is disappointing. Like, mm. and we'll get into little details that I think just as a show, story plots and like w the tone they were going with. I feel like it, 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 some aspects work, but some don't. There are two timelines in the show. If people aren't caught up, I recommend go watching a trailer because they're not going to go through the whole thing. But there's the two timelines: the future timeline and the present timeline, and the present timeline is infinitely more interesting, which is sad to say because the more Resident Evil stuff happens in the future one, but I think the present timeline is more interesting, yeah. especially yeah, with, the, right. with its use of characters and, and things going on. I yeah. just think it's a mess of a show, even devoid of being a Resident Evil show. Yeah. Mm. But yeah, it felt like more like as a Resident Evil fan going into this, you feel like, oh, like you're Easter egg hunting for the Resident Evil things in a Resident Evil show, which is like kind of bizarre. <laughs> yeah. Like, yeah. you know, yeah. we had Halo, was it, it was earlier this year, correct? Yeah. 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 Um, and I know lots of people feel that way, but me and Jay kind of come out pretty similar, which was like, a, you know, 6.5 out of 10. Like it was, we're excited for season two, but it, it, it took some liberties and it kind of feels like a lot of these video game products are kind of like you, like taking the IP and creating their own story on top of that. Yeah making their own original characters and things and i as nick mm. said like i'm all for creative liberties and creating new stories like that's really cool and all but i feel like you, when you look at things like the marvel cinematic universe or superhero movies that have started to succeed i think for the most part they're respecting the characters and, and like utilizing what makes those games or or comics i should say special yeah. whereas in here i think it not only doesn't really utilize resident evil as a video game ip it takes the worst parts of it umbrella's always been the least interesting aspect <laughs> especially like the super duper white clinical version yeah. of yes umbrella. Like, yes it's not even the gritty kind of like experimentation like a, a redid on on a on a i don't know a bed it's not even that it's no, just like the most clinical yeah yeah sorry i said redid that's yeah. zelda okay. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um but yeah um Literally, they take the most clinical parts, not even the most exciting parts. Yeah, no, yeah. I agree. <laughs> yeah, so it's like, but then again, I don't know what they were thinking when that, like, when they were creating the show. Like, it, there's obviously a lot of talent behind it, but um, it feels more like a readaptation of the movies, yeah. of the Miljogovic movies. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I, I was not half, of the game. I was half expecting after episode one for Alice to walk in and they'd be like, "Who are you?" And she's like, "I'm gonna save you." I'm like, "All right, cool." Like, I'm like, yeah. yeah, I feel like Alice should have showed up in this show. Yeah. Like, 100%. She would fit in perfectly. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah. But is it, like, I guess, spoiler alert, like, I'm going to start to get into details. Yeah. But even just yeah. logistically as a show, I think a lot of the arcs um, and characters, are, like, don't really line up. I think Lance, uh, is Lance Reddick, yes? Lance Reddick, yeah. Yeah, he's the best part of the show. Yep, but then right. halfway through the season, his storyline gets very muddied when they introduce clones, which is got done in the Miljogovic movies, I remember. And it's like, <laughs> but not in the game. So it's like, yeah, like... yeah. And in the games, I feel like there was other Weskers. There was Wesker children. Yeah, like there was Wesker children. It kind of did delve into that a little bit, but not but too it, heavily. Like the worst parts of the games. Worst parts of the games. <laughs> Picking the worst parts of the games to make. Yeah. Mm. to utilize in your adaptation it's like yeah i always say with these things like you have such a simple premise that you could adapt but they always choose to make it the most overly complicated things and having two diverging timelines uh, with uh, uh the characters one is always usually going to win out when you're doing something like that yeah and it does here and i think that that's a shame because it really breaks up the pacing but i don't know i don't really have a ton i just don't want to come out and hate on a show like we never really like to do that here no so I'm not here to just trash it, but man, the dog in the, I think it's the second episode or the first episode uses an elevator. Yeah, he do. <laughs> Bing. Like, I don't like, <laughs> they never explain. He pushes they get an elevator, up. they go down, then they hop out and the door closes and then the dog starts to break through. It's like, the dog get in the elevator and be like, Bing. <laughs> Wait patiently. Like, but yeah, yeah, so there's a lot of problems 
that I just like, and even the music choices and stuff, it feels like it's trying to hit like a young adult audience on Netflix. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm feeling it's like going for a very like, yeah, like a, that Stan Gen Z culture. It, it just, which it's, is not typically Resident Evil. No. At all, okay. it, it just seems bizarre having high school drama in a, in a Resident <laughs> Evil show. I'm just like. Yeah. <laughs> not what I expected. No. <laughs> I'm like, it was well done, high school drama that fits in another TV mm. show. It was interesting enough of the bully and the burrito on the face. Pfft. But like, I feel like it's been done a lot better in other Netflix shows, though. A lot better yeah. in Stranger Things and whatnot with the bullying of yeah, Eleven and yeah, stuff. Yeah, exactly. But, but like, yeah, it just belongs in another show. <laughs> yeah, it just has nothing to do with Resident Evil. And uh, yeah, I feel like we. Uh, I feel like I, I'm going a little bit too hard on this, but I just, I just, I feel like I'm just disappointed because I'm a Resident Evil fan, and the amount of disrespect that we have been shown in this show is just. Yeah. 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 You know, I'm not this normally negative on this, but goddamn, I just feel disrespected. Yeah, yeah, and and I'm sure you guys have noticed. Like on our channel, we try to be extremely of like course, yeah. positive and and fair. But um, yeah, I I don't think we have to hide the fact that <laughs> this is not not it. Not it. Not it. No, it's not it. And I, I think you know, video game adaptations have had a bad run. But I think something like you look at Sonic. I think that's quite good right the movies you know i'm not a big fan of sonic so i don't know like how the general hardcore ones but those movies, i've watched both they're the movies fun and time. yeah they're fun times but i also think they for the most part respect the games and it's very much like when superhero movies started to work i feel like it's where they actually take and respect to the video games and the ip and not to say they don't respect it but the way they're utilizing it is um it just doesn't like oh, as someone I... that likes resident evil it's just it's just it's baff the choices are baffling is the where i'll leave it a hundred percent. And I, I just want to add that, like, the one thing I'm really struggling to understand is who is their target audience? Because they're calling it Resident Evil, so they want to appeal to people who know and love Resident Evil, but it's so devoid and different to Resident Evil, and they have this kind of, like, Gen Z kind of culture and, and talking, which is totally fine, like, not an issue in, in a separate thing, but it's very separate to Resident Evil, so I'm just very lost on who the target audience is. Yeah, and the target audience is, I would say, 30 to 20 people in the 90s that played the games, I guess, right? Mm. Mm. Like, it's... No, I, I don't know. I don't know what they were trying to hear. Who, who's this for? <laughs> like, who's like, for? You know, as, as Jade mentions, there's a lot of young adults sort of, um... Lingo. Fear Street... Stranger Things sort of mixes there with Billy yeah. and Jade and the young girl's relationship. But then it's yeah. also really hokey and weird when they have... Dua Lipa. Spoiler alert, like they have um, Albert Wesker in his leather-clad outfit <laughs> uh, messing up people and teleporting and, and big crocodile zombies. Like, you know, it feels like a... And it just feels like a very tonally inconsistent show where they yeah, didn't 100% know what they wanted to do. Or they did and they just, for, for me personally, didn't hit the mark. In, right. in any I'm way, I, I don't, I just, it didn't work for me, but I like the core relationship between Billy and Jade and the father of, of Albert Wesker. Mm. Like, I think that works, not for Resident Evil, but it works as a show. Yeah. yeah. You know? Mm. Yeah, like for a show that's... Some people might enjoy it, and actually, like, if you're just looking for something breezy and horror-based, and you're not maybe a fan of Resident Evil looking for it, you might mm. enjoy it, and maybe even fans enjoy it. Just for me, this isn't what necessarily I'm... Looking for out of a Resident Evil adaptation, nor even just a show. I thought it was pretty messy. Yeah. Yeah. No, I couldn't have put it better myself. Yeah. But yeah. But let us know in the comments down below what you thought. Whether this was what you expected, whether it wasn't, um, whether you have about it, not so happy. Please let us know, and we'll keep that combo going. Do we want to give a number? Ooh. Um. Do we want to give a, a number? I What's might be a bit name? harsh. <laughs> Give a number, Nick. Go give it. Um, okay, so I'll give it two numbers. Uh, <laughs> we said I'll give it two. I was like, damn! Numbers. <laughs> oh, no, no. It gets worse than that. No, I'd, I'd say <laughs> as a Resident Evil representation, Resident Evil, I'd give it like a two out of ten. As a show, if you're a newcomer and you're not coming into Resident Evil, you don't know about Resident Evil, I'd give it a 5.5 maybe a 5.9 i don't want to give this a six but yeah like i feel like i'd give it that it's quite it's 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 a it's a it's a mesh show and as a resident evil property it's like a 2 1.5 it's no yeah no yeah, yeah. totally get that jay 
Um, I can't get past the fact that it is titled Resident Evil, so because of that, can't give it more than like a three. Um, because sure, as a show, I do agree with Nick, like it's totally watchable and could be so interesting, but it's literally titled Resident Evil, so. <laughs> Don't make sense. <laughs> I give it a five. Yeah. I think five is taken my uh, uh, bias. Look at that tail. Look at that big bushy no, tail. Dude, no that's the best thing um, that's happened this whole discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I think for me, it comes down to the fact that as a horror show, it's not scary nor tense. And as a teen drama show, I think it's been done way better in other shows. So even just as a show, it's it's a five. Yeah. It doesn't hit yep. the mark on either of them. I don't think the science part is very interesting. It's been done better. And the yeah. scares aren't there. And the teen drama isn't interesting enough. That is so true. Yeah, all the levels it's hitting are mid. Like, you know what I mean? Yep. Yeah. Also, speaking of best parts, there was one part where your cat Beans was walking across, yeah. and that was also the best part. <laughs> and he's a little chunky man. I didn't see him. I didn't see him. <laughs> but yeah. But yeah, please make sure you <laughs> leave a like and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you'd like. And we will see you in the next one. Say bye, guys. Bye.